Hey YouTubers, this is Luis from Onsite Towing and Recovery in Middletown, New York. So one of my uh, subscribers reached out to me and asked if I can make a video on marketing. Pretty excited about this because I went to college for business for a business degree and marketing was one of my strong suits in college. I just I, I loved marketing. So what is marketing? The best way and the simplest way I can put it is marketing is the process that a business takes to promote and sell a product to a consumer. Uh, you know, it, there's several different processes. So that's, that's a general idea of what marketing is. Now, there's uh, a couple types of marketing, such as grassroots marketing and guerrilla marketing. Grassroots marketing is more centralized and focuses on a specific group of people that you're trying to sell a service or a product to, whether it's based on age or gender or, you know, ethnicity, so on and so forth. Now, guerrilla marketing is a broader uh, marketing term. It's pretty much you're there to sell to everybody. There's no real uh, categories such as gender, so on and so forth. For towing, we technically fall under guerrilla marketing considering that we're targeting everybody that drives a car regardless of sex, age, you know, you just, you know, it's just, you know, it's, it's a broad field. Anybody that drives pretty much falls into that category. So I utilize guerrilla marketing. Don't, don't get me wrong, you can use grassroots marketing if you're in a niche part of the industry. Maybe all you do is tow classic cars or you do kind of uh, specialized work, uh, I don't know, with a rotator. So, so grassroots marketing is more of a target-based. Guerrilla marketing is more of a bigger audience that you're, you're trying to reach out to. Um, so anyways, so how do I market my business? I'll, I'll give you some tips and stuff on what I do here. I don't spend any money really on advertisement other than Google Ads, but I'll get into that in a minute. So, so you know, you're, you're new to the business or you've been an existing business and you're just trying to get people to call you. So one of the first things that you really need to do is set up a Google listing, uh, a Google Plus page, a Google Business page, and you need to get that verified. And when you get that verified, pretty much Google will send you a postcard to your address. You enter a uh, four-digit PIN. They do some kind of investigation because they want to make sure that you're a legitimate business and you're not spam or something like that. And once, once you get that set up, people will start Googling tow companies and you will come up. You're not going to come up at the top right away because there's several different factors that Google takes into consideration on uh, who gets listed where on which page. Uh, you know, it can be reviews, it can be how many times people have looked at your page, keywords to keywords as well. So, but first and foremost is you need to set up that Google listing and that Google Plus page. It's all free. It's relatively easy to do. Uh, the next thing that I do is uh, I'm very active on social media, Facebook being one of them. Uh, we just got on the Instagram maybe six months ago. Um, I'm not on Twitter, but I'm very active on Facebook. And I have a Facebook business page that I try to post stuff every day just to kind of remind people that I'm there. One thing that you're going to notice is that when you keep reminding people that you're, that you're there, they're going to remember your company name, you know, like, oh, on-site auto. Yeah, I saw his post on Facebook, call on-site auto for towing. It's almost similar to that radio ad that you just know the song or the jingle by heart because you're just so used to hearing it. And, and that's kind of, you know, that's, that's kind of what you want to do, just keep reminding people that you're out there. So utilize social media. I don't really pay much for social media. You know, I've, I've boosted my post a couple times. I typically do that around snowstorms uh, when people need us the most and, and holidays. So the other, um, so, so advertisements, you know, what kind of advertisements am I doing? I use Google Ads to do my advertisements and it's a pay by click. So 
you can set a certain dollar amount per month that you don't want to exceed. So if it's like 500 bucks, the you know, and they I don't every call that you get, you know, they'll take four dollars out of your account, and that's pretty much how that works. So you can pretty much set it to your budget, which is nice. Obviously, the more money you spend on it, the broader range of people it's going to get to. I find it to be very, very effective. I would say four out of five calls I get off of Google, I end up getting the towing service. The neat thing too about that is you can track if it's working. And it's the same thing with Facebook. You know, you can track who's visiting your pages and, and, the same, you know, so, and it's the same with Google. So utilize Google AdWords. The other thing that I do is I hand out a lot of business cards. And I've gotten into the habit that every person that I come across, I hand them a business card. Whether I go to Dunkin' Donuts or I go out to eat, even if I'm off duty, every person that I come across, I hand them business cards. Business cards are cheap, they're pennies on the dollar, and they do get around, you know. Uh, if you go into a gas station, make it a habit to leave just a little stack on the counter, you know. And that will go a long way. I also do a lot of towing for a for shops so every shop that we drop a car off if it's a new shop we make sure to hand them a few business cards a lot of times you know the shops have a, a towing company that they use to begin with but who knows they might call the the company they've been using for years but the company they've been using for years does not have the equipment available at the time and they need it right now and they'll end up calling you and it's just all about getting your foot in the door um, you know, stopping at other local businesses, you know, if you, you know, if you're in a, you know, right now we got a business across the street that's a restaurant, you know, and one of the first things I did was I stopped there, introduced myself, dropped some cards, you know, because who knows, their customers might go out to start their car, it doesn't start, they need a jump start, or they lock the keys in it. So it's just a good way to just network with people. You could do other things too, you know, go out into the community, uh, do parades, you know, do, do any community event. Get out there and just just promote your business, you know. And there's you know a bunch of other things you can do. You know, I'm always in uniform for the most part. I make it. Um, I drive my trucks everywhere too, just for that little bit of exposure. You know, if people get used to seeing your trucks and, and your crew out in uniform, you're more likely to get called. As far as print goes, um, I'm not a big fan of print because, to be honest with you, when people break down. First thing they do is they go to their cell phone. Nobody's opening up a phone book anymore. You know, they jump on Google. Um, and also, too, uh, a website. A website's a must, and it's got to be a mobile-friendly website because, like I said, when people break down, they don't open up a phone book. They don't open up their laptop. They go right to their phone. So you want to make sure that that website of yours is, is, is uh, mobile-friendly. One thing, too, that I would also recommend um, is to get somebody that is good with SEO. SEO is search engine optimization. And what they do is they can, you know, pretty much for the Google Plus ads, my guy ends up, you know, he's got all these zip codes and all these types of keywords. And to be honest with you, um, if it wasn't for him, I, I don't think I'd be as busy as I am now. So make sure you can get a really good SEO guy. And I don't mean like SEO optimization through like Vistaprint or anything like that. Get an actual person in your town or in your city and, and work with them. Uh, it will go a long way. So you know, my guy managed to make my website business friendly. He updates it for me from time to time. Um, you know, so that's, a, that's another thing to, to do. Um, YouTube. You know, uh, as many of you know, I've got my YouTube channel, and that's my newest thing. And I'm just doing that, just, you know, for, for exposure as well, and as for educational and I just uh, educational uh, reasons as well. But YouTube is another good way to expose yourself. Instagram. Um, my Instagram is tied up with my Facebook, so every time I put a Facebook page, it also uploads to my Instagram account. And you know, the one thing I can say is, you know. Post every day if you're using social media. Just remind your family and friends that you're there. And that's pretty much it. That sums it up. You know, I'm hoping that someone gets something out of this video. And, you know, every every little bit of uh, intel helps in, in business. And um, once again, this is uh, Luis from Onsite Towing and Recovery. Uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching.